Say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down, or you're gonna be missing a hand, lady. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. <sighs> My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough! Both of you! <sighs> well, come with me, then. You want to head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, so well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. You cool down then yet? I guess. Now, I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating halfwit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. Huh. Where's that letter? Well, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> <laughs> he ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. That's Dutch's idea. All mailed and sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. Here, give me that back. We got work to do.
Okay. Here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! Are you insane? I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy us some food to eat. And no guns. You sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. I'm trying. Try harder. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. We'll give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. Yeah. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see? Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you... Uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool, Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Go! Go, go, go! Shit! Let's get the hell out of here! Go! Alright, 
I'll drive us back. No, past those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Careful! We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. Can we pick up the pace here? And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. Yeah. So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of bollocks. Not a chance. Yep. Killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, uh, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe, <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but. I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Arthur! <laughs> hey, Arthur. C can I have a quick word? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip off. So now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so. <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. Well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. Now, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <sighs> This way. Bunch of smart Alex. Yep. Yeah. 
How do you get wind of this, old man? We only been down here all in five minutes. Well, while you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you've scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down into roads. <laughs> I've been watching them. All right. We best hit it quick, Dan. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something? Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's 
try and get out of here. Hey, shit! Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn! Hey, now let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? Uh, uh, I... Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me what you heard. I don't... Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir... <clears throat> Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. Place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty!
Just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got Cornwall on our back. It was an yeah. honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Quan. Get out of here. Every man split up. Quan, run quick. Good luck, gents. Stay quiet and move. 